guys, welcome back to Home Crux. My name is Priya and today we are going to make a concrete planter using this cardboard box and these wooden dowels for legs. Let's get started. For our first step, we are going to wrap this cardboard box inside out with saran wrap so that concrete won't damage it and it holds its shape. So the inside of the box is wrapped nicely. There won't be any concrete leakage. Now we are going to poke some holes for our dowel legs. Add a dowel leg. Now we are going to repeat on all the three other corners. The dowel legs are in place. Now we are going to prepare our concrete mixture. Let us now pour our concrete mixture. Now we are going to put another planter inside this one and fill the sides to the brim. Now we are going to set it aside for 24 to 48 hours until it completely dries and we can see the results. Our concrete planter seems to have dried up so let's take it out. Our planter is out. It's the weirdest looking thing but we'll make it work. I sanded the top a little bit. Now I'm going to add some sand in it and I have this beautiful plant that I'm going to add here. So let us know what do you think of this DIY. A quick dry concrete planter using these plastic tools. Here I have my quick dry concrete. Take a cup of water and Start adding your quick dry cement. So what we are going to do is place our bowl on a plate or flat surface and start pouring a quick dry concrete mixture into it. We are going to press and place some pebbles on the top bowl so it doesn't move and float away. Now we are going to fill it to the brim. Now we are going to leave it for about 1 to 2 hours and then we are going to take it out. It's been 3 hours. Let's take the bowls out. First, dump the pebbles. Then we are going to remove the bowl. On the inner bowl and gently remove it. Now turn it upside down. Give it some taps. Tease the exterior bowl and gently pull the planter out. Poke a hole, it's easy, let it dry for 24 hours and then we are going to plant a succulent or something in it. So our planter with quick dry cement is dried up, add some stones at the bottom, add some soil, these will be the trees. And here is our concrete planter with beautiful succulent landscape in it. First, we are going to wrap our bowl with saran wrap. So we wrap our bigger bowl from the inside and the smaller one from the outside. Now we are going to prepare our concrete. Make a thick batter of your concrete. We are going to add a small wall of now pour the concrete, add a smaller bowl, press it down, fill the gaps. Filling the sides might be a little too hard once you put the smaller bowl in, so make sure to pour more concrete. Now set it aside and wait for at least 24 to 48 hours till we can take it out. It's been 24 hours. Let's see what we have got. First, we are going to empty out these pebbles. Take a hole at the bottom. Plant a plant in this planter. Let's add some tiny rocks at the bottom. We add some soil, our plants, and there we go. A rustic concrete planter is ready. We are going to make 
yet another concrete platter using this cardboard. So this piece of cardboard is very pliant and has this ribbed texture which I'm going to use. First we have to prepare the base. So now I'm going to tape this together. So here is our mold. I have prepared my concrete mixture and pour into our mold. After filling it to the two third, we are going to place our cup inside, gently pressing down. Now we are going to add some pebbles in the cup so that it won't float back up. We are going to leave it for 24 hours. Our planter is dried. Let's take it out. Now we are going to paint the exterior of our planter. Now I'm going to add some plants. And here is our cardboard concrete planter. Hi guys, welcome back to Home Crux. My name is Priya and today we are going to make another concrete planter using triangular molds. Let's get started. To make this triangular mold, I have some cutouts from a cake box. You can use cardboard as well. This is uh, 10 cm and 7 cm uh, joined to an equilateral triangle measuring 10 cm. So let's create a bigger one. This will be 12 cm. First, I'm going to create the triangle. Now we are going to cut three rectangles measuring 12 cm and 9 cm. Now we are going to cut two more rectangles using this as our stencil. So we have all our pieces we are going to join like so using tape. We are going to tape all our sides like this and then we are going to cover it up with more tape. So while we have covered the outer layer of our inner mold, we are going to tape the insides of this one. Once the inside is covered with the tape, we are going to join the corners like so. Now we have our molds prepared, let's pour some concrete in them. So I miscalculated and ended up making these ones way too closer. So I made another one. The dimensions are uh, 14 cm and 9 cm. This one fits nicely in there with space. I have added a small cylinder of cardboard here which will serve as the drainage hole. Let's prepare our concrete now. We want a consistency that is like pancake batter. Now we are going to pour. Tap it to release the air bubbles. Then we are going to pop this inside. And fill it with some pebbles so that it won't come back up. Keep it in the center and fill the rest. So I have filled it up but it keeps on stretching to the side so I'm going to try and hold it up as it dries. 
Now we are going to set it aside for at least 24 hours and then we can take it out and see how it turns. Now that our planter is dried up, let's take it out. First we are going to dump the pebbles. Now we are going to add a drainage hole. Smooth the edges with a knife or a cutter. Our planter is nice and ready. Now we are going to fill it up with soil and add a plant. First I am going to put some pebbles down over the drainage hole. Planting an assortment of tiny succulents in this one. And there we go. A triangular planter with a desert landscape is ready. For this, I am using an old towel some concrete and some empty paint boxes which I am going to use as base when my planter is drying up. So let's begin. I am stacking these two containers to give it, give it some height and wrapping it in plastic wrap. This step is optional but I am using the wrap to prevent my concrete and towel from sticking to the container. Next we are going to prepare our concrete mix. Get a bucket. Don't forget to wear some protective gloves to protect your skin because contact with concrete can cause some irritation. Then add some concrete. Some water, give it a mix. Now we don't want very thick consistency, it should be runny. We want a consistency that is thicker than your pancake mix. Now we are going to prepare our towel. Take your towel or the old cloth that you are using and put it over the containers that we have prepared earlier. Now we are going to fold it in half. Fold it once more and cut the corners in a round shape. Put it over the containers once again. If there are some issues with the height, you can trim that. But mine is looking pretty great right now. So I'm not going to cut it again. So my mixture is ready. I'm going to dump the towel in there. Nicely coating everything. If it seems thicker, you can add more water. Put everything nice and easy. Once it is coated in concrete, we are going to place it over this. You can shape it however you want. If it is touching the ground, you can add one more container. Now we are going to let it set for at least 
48 hours before we can unwrap it and see how it turned out. You can leave it with these folds or you can twist like this to add more character to it. I'm just going to leave it like this. Now set it aside and let it dry for 24 to 48 hours. We are back after 48 hours. Let's flip it. Now we are going to remove our boxes from in there. It needed a little protection, but we got it out. Take the other box out. And there we go. Let's add some plants to this planter. And there you go. 